Hello and welcome to the Pro 14 Round 20 Predictions brought to you by Driving Mall. Hi, I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Mall, a YouTube channel, website, podcast and Twitter account bringing you the best in rugby predictions and opinion. So, kicking us off, we head down to South Africa for the Cheetahs hosting Munster. Now, the Cheetahs have had a very good home record and they are just behind Munster with one less win, but they are uh, a good seven points behind them. So even a bonus point win here won't close that gap in Group A. But you've got to say that uh, I think Munster will go down there and get the win. I'm back in Munster's win on by five. Cheetahs have been good at home, but I think a lot of teams have also travelled down with weakened sides. Uh, and I think at this point at the end of the season, Munster will be looking uh, to get uh, all the points they can to try and close that gap on Glasgow and hope that Glasgow do um, slip up at the top there. Then we head over to Belfast for Ulster versus Ospreys. Now, Ospreys are in a fine run of form, having won uh, seven... Oh, it's blank. Sorry, it's, I think it's seven. Um, no, it's yeah, six, sorry, out of their last seven games. That's what I was looking, trying to say. Uh, but that has included, uh, or has been mainly at home. So five out of those six wins have been home games, uh, and they've still only won one game away all season, and that was to Dragons. So... You've got to say that uh, Ulster at home, I'm going to back them by three, even, uh, more, but it's more because of Ulster's away form than I am happy about Ulster's form. Because Ulster, with um, seven wins, sorry, ten wins this season, have not been looking very good, let's be honest. Uh, but uh, the, the home form, with seven wins out of nine, has been much better than away form. And so I think that combination should lead to an Ulster win. Glasgow um, then host Connaught. Uh, and yes, sure, Glasgow have tripped up recently with a couple of losses in their last three games. But uh, Connacht have been disappointing this season. Only six wins all season and they're on a run of, a run of three losses. So Glasgow by 10 for me and to basically secure the top of the Group A standings with that win. If it's not secured already. And then we head over to um, Edinburgh who host Scarlet's. And this should be an absolute cracker. Edinburgh have uh, are just behind Scarlets. It's just six points behind them um, on, on the same number of wins. So they, uh, they, if they were to win this one, they would close that gap right up going into the final round. Was it final round or final two rounds? Sorry, let me just quickly check. Yeah, going into the final round of the uh, regular season. Um, now, they have won six out of their last seven games, but they did trip up last weekend. Uh, at Ulster, um, their, w their wins at home and away are all both very good records. Seven out of nine at home, six out of ten away. So slightly better at home, but not uh, but but one of the better away forms out of uh, uh, out of any team actually. You've got to say that, but I'm um, but I think Scarlets will be looking. As I say this will would secure them a win here would secure them that second place in and potentially give them a situation where they could upset El Leinster if they do slip up in Group B. So I'm going to back Leinster um, by a, uh, just by three points in this one, in a, what I think should be one of the best games of the round. We then head down to South Africa, um, where the Kings host uh, the Blues. The Blues, obviously, with that horrible travel uh, going into the, the Cheetahs game, um, which they lost in the end. But um, it was a decent performance out of them. It was only a two-point loss to the Cheetahs, uh, and... The Kings have been poor this season, just one win all season. So you've got to say that uh, Cardiff should come away with a win and backing Cardiff there by seven. Leinster then host Treviso and they know that uh, Scarlets could be right on their tail uh, at this point. Only two games left. They definitely want to top their um, group. Uh, I'm expecting Leinster to beat Treviso quite comfortably by ten. Treviso have been much better this season, um, let's be fair. And uh, with their 49 points, they would be fourth in uh, Group A, you know, is, is their fifth in Group B. So, um, yeah, good season for Treviso, however, however this game goes, but I'm backing Leinster. Zebre then host Dragons, and Zebre on, um, <laughs> on 22 points, bottom of Group A, but that puts them on more points than both Dragons and the Kings in Group B. So it's been a bit unlucky with the way that the uh, two groups have panned out. Um, and I'm going to back Zebre to pick up another win here, and to beat the Dragons by seven points. Uh, they're going to finish bottom of, probably bottom of, of their standings, um, whatever happens. Uh, but uh, it is a decent uh, season for uh, Zebre. 
uh, when you think they're, beat, they're, they're ahead of two other teams uh, overall in the competition. So that's how the games line up uh, this weekend. Always up for good old rugby chats. Let me know your thoughts down below or at Driving Mall on Twitter. There are also a couple of makeup games as well uh, that will be going on during the European competition, and I'll give you uh, uh, predictions for those um, next week. And uh, so enjoy whatever rugby you're watching.